Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Hebrews chapter 13. Let brotherly friendship continue, but don't forget to be friendly to outsiders. For in doing so, some people, without knowing it, have entertained angels. Remember those in prison and being mistreated as if you were in prison with them and undergoing their tor torture yourselves. Marriage is honorable in every respect, and in particular, sex within marriage is pure. But God will indeed punish fornicators and adulterers. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be satisfied with what you have. For God himself has said, I will never fail you or abandon you. Therefore we say with confidence, Jehovah is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can a human being do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke God's message to you. Reflect on the results of their way of life and imitate their trust. Yeshua the Messiah is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by various strange teachings. For what is good is the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by foods. People who have made these the focus of their lives have not benefited thereby. And have an altar, <clears throat> we have an altar from which those who serve in the tent are not permitted to eat. For the Kohen Haggadah brings the blood of animals into the holiest place as a sin offering but their bodies are burned outside the camp. So too Yeshua suffered death outside the gate in order to make the people holy through his own blood. Therefore let us go out to him who is outside the camp and share his disgrace. For we have no permanent city here. On the contrary, we seek the one to come. Through him therefore let us offer God a sacrifice of praise continually. For this is the natural product of lips that acknowledge his name. But don't forget doing good and sharing with others, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they keep watch over your lives as people who will have to render an account. So make it a task of joy for them, not one of groaning. For this is of no advantage to you. Keep praying for us, for we are certain that we have a clear conscience and want to conduct ourselves properly in everything we do. And all the more I beg you to do this, so that I may be restored to you that much sooner. The God of Shalom brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, our Lord Yeshua, by the blood of an eternal covenant. May God equip you with every good thing you need to do his will. And may he do it in us whatever he pleases him, through Yeshua the Messiah. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now I urge you, brothers, to bear with my message of exhortation, for I have written you only briefly. Know that our brother Timothy has been released. If he comes soon enough, I will bring him with me when I come to see you. Greet all your leaders and all God's people. For the people from Italy send greeting to you. Grace be with you all. The author of Hebrews once again pulls from the Tanakh. I will never fail you or abandon you 
comes from Deuteronomy 31, 6. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong, be bold. Don't be afraid or frightened of them. For Jehovah your God is going with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Next. Burned outside. Oh, hold on. Jehovah is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can a human being do to me? Psalm 118.6. Psalm 118.6. With Jehovah on my side, I fear nothing. What can human beings do to me? Burned outside the camp, Leviticus 16.27. The bull of the sin offering and the goat for the sin offering whose blood was brought in to make atonement in the holy place is to be carried outside the camp. There they are to burn up completely their hides, meat, and dung. Outside the camp, let us, let us offer God a sacrifice of praise continually. Sacrifice. Not seeing the next one, but we're going to read it anyway. It's Leviticus 7.12. I think I found an error there. Leviticus 7, 12. If a person offers it for thank giving thanks, for he is to offer it with thanksgiving, sacrifice, and unleavened cakes, mixed with olive oil, matzah, spread it with olive oil, and cakes made of fine flour, mixed with olive oil, and fried. Didn't sound right, but that's fine with me. Next, or we'll go 22, 29, Leviticus 22, 29. When you offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to Jehovah, you must do it in a way that you will be accepted. Psalm 50, 14. Psalm 50, 14. Offer thanksgiving as a sacrifice to God. Pay your vows to the Most High. Psalm 50, verse 23. Whoever offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice honors me, and to him who goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. 107.22 Let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and proclaim his great deeds with songs of joy. 116.17 I will offer a sacrifice of thanks to you and I will call on the name of Jehovah. 2 Chronicles 29, 31, lastly. 2 Chronicles 29. 29, 31. Hezekiah responded by saying, Now that you have consecrated yourselves to Jehovah, come close and bring sacrifices and thank offerings into the house of Jehovah. So the community brought in sacrifices and thank offerings, and as many as were willing, volunteered burnt offerings. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Hebrews 13, the last chapter of Hebrews? We can learn a great deal of wisdom. Aim to have brotherly friendship with brothers and sisters in Messiah as well as to be friendly with outsiders, knowing some are angels. Aim to have empathy with others. Aim to get married with 
which is honorable in every respect, knowing sex within marriage is pure. Know that Yah will punish fornicators and adulterers. Please be, please be compassionate, full of mercy, Master. Aim to be satisfied with what you have. Keep your life free from the love of money. Trust that Yah himself has said, I will never fail you or abandon you. Therefore we say with confidence, Jehovah is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can a human being do to me? Remember your leaders, those who speak Yah's message to you. Reflect on the results of their way of life. Imitate their trust. Trust that Yeshua is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Allow Yah's written word to carry your attention. Yah's word benefits. Trust that Yeshua suffered death outside the gate in order to make the people holy through his own blood. Trust that this current world is not our permanent home. Aim to offer Yah a sacrifice of praise continually. Know that praise is the natural product of lips, that we acknowledge his name, Yehovah. Aim to do good and share with others, for this is how you please Yehovah. Aim to obey your leaders and submit to them. Make their task a joy. Aim to always pray for one another. Trust that Yah of Shalom brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, our master, Yeshua, by the blood of the eternal covenant. Ask Yah to equip you with every good thing to do His will. Trust Him to do it in whatever way pleases Him. Through Yeshua the Messiah, to Him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can be friendly with each other and have empathy with each other. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. How can we bear one another's burdens? We can fear Jehovah and be worthy of others to imitate us. We can be worthy of others to imitate as we imitate Sha'ul and Yeshua. End with the Arianic blessing. Jehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts. And he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Jehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Jehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete.